everyone and welcome back to my channel it's me mariana and today i'm here with another study vlog this is the third one here on the channel and before i start i just wanted to show you guys one thing one thing that i really didn't like about this elastic that came on my arc notebook was the fact that it was messing up with the pages because when you closed it it actually compressed the papers and it kind of crumples the pages so i just decided to cut the ends off and just stitch together with another elastic this way the elastic sits flat on the back of the notebook and it doesn't crumple the paper and for this study session i'm actually going to use a circle tracer because i'm studying uh, movement resistance of tires and i'll be drawing a couple of diagrams of tires so i just thought it would be easier to use a circle tracer and i already started this chapter before and i'm just going to go ahead and continue it the this is the second chapter on um, resistance of movement of tires and for this and this time i'm going to use my ipad this one is a very old ipad is the ipad 2 and i'm going to use it to read my art read the article i'm using to study and also i think this is very very good to use because if i ever need to do, to draw a very complex diagram i can just go ahead and increase the brightness uh, on the ipad and i can trace the picture directly from the screen onto my page onto my page so i think it's very very nice to have this possibility one other thing that i really like about using the ipad is that it occupies much less space than a notebook so you have more space to write on the table and also you have more space to put your items that you're going, going to use for this study session as always i have a couple of items i'm going to use i have my mechanical pencil which is 05 and uses graphite 2b because i like darker graphite i'm using my muji pencil my muji pen and this is a black ink pen i really like it i usually use my pentel energel but this one uh, is actually a little bit lighter and it's better for this grit for this graph paper because the lines on the graph paper are very dark and one thing that i really like to use is the app called forest that you just saw me putting you can choose the amount of time that you want to study for this study session i decided to study 120 minutes which means two hours and i wanted to finish chapter two on what i was reading but i i wasn't able to do it so it, i kind of i don't know i just got unmotivated and i didn't want to finish anyway going back to the things i'm going to use for this study session i'm also using my muji ruler i prefer transparent rulers because it's easier to see what you're doing but this one is a 15 centimeter ruler so it's easier to carry around so i use it i'm also using my faber castell highlighter and i'm using the purple one because for this subject i decided to choose the color purple like i said before on my previous videos i always choose a color for each subject this way i have everything more organized and it's easier to see i'm also using a glue and that's because since the lines on this graph paper are very dark i prefer to draw diagrams or maybe do a couple of graphs on a separate piece of blank paper like simple plain paper this way it's easier to see the diagram and the information is clear it, it's clear instead of being very busy with the graph lines and everything so every time i do a di diagram i'm going to go ahead and pick another page a blank page i'm gonna cut it and then i'm gonna glue it onto the page this is a lot of work i know but because we are in quarantine and i have plenty of time to study i don't think that's much of a trouble for me but if you are short on time of course this is not going to be very good for you one thing i like to comment is exactly that i have plenty of time to do my notes and also to study so the way i like to study this specific subject because it's very focused on my internship that i'm probably going to do i'm not sure if i'll be able again to go to france 
and do my internship about tires. We'll see how that will go in the next month. But anyway, the way I like to study for that is just to read a topic or a subsection on the chapter I'm currently reading. And then I'll choose what is the most important information, what are the most important formulas, and I'll write down on my um, notes, on my notebook. And this notebook, it's not an A4 notebook, it's a medium-sized notebook. So the pages, so the pages are slightly smaller. And that's kind of bad because my notes take a lot of space. So I'll have to use lots of papers in order to be able to do, to take all my notes. But I decided to get this notebook specifically because of the size, because I just wanted to, I just wanted to take one notebook to France and it had to fit into my purse. My normal A4 notebooks don't fit into my purse. Actually they fit, but not very well. And my purse doesn't close. So I decided to get this one that fits perfectly into my purse. And it's also lighter, which is a very good thing. But after using it for, for some time, I actually put a lot of pages on it and I had to change the discs to a bigger disc. And it actually looks very cute now. It's a small, concise, very fat notebook. And I don't know, I like it. Anyway, going back to my notes, uh, I was studying uh, this day the resistance of movement of tires, which basically means that when you're trying to roll a tire, you have to apply some energy in order for it to move. And the amount of energy you're going to spend moving this tire depends on the structure of the tire and also the materials you use. For this specific topic I was writing at the moment, I was studying the effects of changing a normal tire with a green tire. A green tire is basically a tire that demands less energy to be moved. So yeah, it's very interesting because the amount of gas you actually save just from changing your normal tires to tires that spend less energy is amazing. And I think this is very interesting, not only because my study and my internship will be focused on that, but overall, I think it's something very interesting for all of us to know, because if you have the right tire, you'll be able to save lots of gas and lots of money on gas. So I don't know, for me, it's interesting, but I think this should be something everyone should know, you know, because it's a way you can save some money for yourself. Anyway, let's talk about the Muji pen. I really like this pen. It's very neat. Like my handwriting is very neat when I use it. I usually use my Pentel Energel 05 pen and I really like it, but at the same time, it's very smooth. So my handwriting is not as consistent and as neat as when I use this Muji pen. So I really, really like it. I really recommend, recommend it. I know it's a pen that a lot of people talk about and a lot of people like, and I like it myself and I super recommend it. The only downside of this pen compared to the Pentel Energy one is that it takes longer to dry. So if you write a phrase and then you use a highlighter right after, it's probably going, going to smudge. Um, and the Pentel Energy pen doesn't do that because it dries very fast. But overall, I think I prefer the Muji pen over the Pentel Energy um, pen. But I'm still looking for the perfect black gel pen. I think both of them are very good, but they are not perfect. I'm looking for the perfect one. I'll try the Pilot G2 soon and maybe some other ones. So if you have any suggestions, just comment here and I'll try it out. I hope someday I'll be able to do pen review with lots of black um, pens, gel ink pens, but I won't be able to do that anytime soon. Anyway, going back here to what I was doing, like I said before, I just glued on a diagram I was making because it looks much better if you use blank paper to do your diagrams than doing this on the graph paper itself. Anyway, this was it for this study session. I hope you guys liked it. And if you did, don't forget to leave your like and also don't forget to subscribe because I'll be posting a lot of videos about studying and study the study tips and also templates about graph paper, dotted paper, lined paper, 
So just make sure you subscribe and you turn on notifications. I'll see you guys on the next video and have a wonderful week.